everyone, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox and I wanted to show you today how you can use the five string banjo edition to uh, maybe help you visualize your uh, banjo a little better. Let me show you how it works. Alright, let's see how chords are built using a Fretboard Toolbox five string banjo edition. We're going to flip to the key of G major and if you look here in the key of G major um, the key is based on the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and back to G. On a banjo that would sound like this. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Now those notes are so important because all of the chords that are in the key of G major uh, all the basic triads, these three note chords, are all built off of those seven notes. So uh, a G major is built out of the notes G, B, and D. A minor is built out of the notes A, C, E, B minor, etc. Those chords are so important because they all sound good together. Here's a G chord, G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp major is not played so much. Um, we could look and see how that looks. And then back to G. So let me show you uh, how those chords are built on the banjo. So remember a G chord is built out of the notes G, B, and D. So this is a layout of your banjo in the key of G major with just the, uh, the notes that are shown here are all part of those seven uh, notes in G major. I'm going to try to show you a banjo here on top. Let's see if we can zoom out. Okay, so here's the banjo and we have uh, this string here which you call the fifth string and then we have fourth string, third, second, and first and then here's all your frets going up to five there and then on the toolbox we have those same notes now here's the fifth string um, if you play it open it's a G the fourth string if you play it open is a D third string is a G second string is a B and first string is a D so um, if you play an open banjo in this uh, in this tuning that makes a G major chord because it's made of the notes G, B, and D. They, those three can be in any order and repeated. Um, we have G, D, G, B, D. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like here. You can just play all the strings open and it makes a G major. You can also make a G major on a banjo by covering the fifth uh, fret here uh, on the fourth string which is a G. You can play the fifth string open because it's another G. And then on the third string, you can play on the fourth fret, which is a B. On the second string, you can play the third fret, which is a D. And then on the fifth string, you can play another G. Let me show you that. Here we have uh, fourth string, fifth fret. Here we have, which is a G. So we have open G, and then we have our G right here. And then we have B on the third string, a D on the second string, and then another G on the fifth string. So both of those are G major chords. Now to build an A minor, we're going to look for the notes A, C, and E. So anywhere you can find those notes on your banjo, A, C, and E, you're going to play an A minor. So I can play an E here on the second fret of the fourth string, an A on the second fret of the third string, a C on the first uh, fret of the second string, and then another E on the um, first string second fret. Let me show you what that one looks like. So here's A minor with the notes E and then A, C, then on the E on the second uh, fret of the first string. 
A minor, G. Now, a B minor chord is built out of the notes B, D, and F sharp. B, D, F sharp. So if we wanted to play a B minor, we can use that same A minor position and just slide it up, and we'll only be playing Bs, Ds, and F sharps. So here we have F sharp, B, D, and F sharp. I'll show you what that looks like. B minor, A minor, A minor, G. Now for a C major chord, we're going to look for the notes C, E, and G. And if you take a look on your toolbox here, um, to find C, E, G, we can play an E on the fourth string, second fret. We could play the G on open on the third string. We can play a C on the first fret of the second string. And then we could play an E on the second fret of the first string. So here's a C major chord. We have the notes E, G, C, and back to E. G, C, G. Um, you would see on the um, fifth uh, chord, the what's called the five chord, is a D major. And uh, D major is built of the notes D, F sharp, and A. If you're only going to learn three chords, you would want to learn the one chord, which is a G major, the three chord, which is, or I'm sorry, the four chord, which is a C major, and the five chord, which is a D major. So the D major is built of D, F sharp, and A. We can play this D open if we'd like, or lots of people like to play this fourth fret, uh, F sharp. But we can play D open, we can play A on the third string, second fret a D on the 2nd string 3rd fret, and an F sharp on the 1st string 4th fret. That would look like this. C, G, D, G. Uh, an E minor you would see is a 6th chord that's built to the notes E, G, and B. If we look down close here, we can play E, G, and B very easily with an E on the second fret of the fourth string, a G on the open uh, third string, um, a B on the open second string, and then another E on the first string second fret. So E minor is a very easy chord on banjo. D, G. So hopefully you can see that with this layout, um, when you understand the notes that chords are built from and the kind of notes that are chords that go together, you can uh, start understanding why you're putting your fingers in various places on the fretboard and uh, start moving to more advanced ideas and start seeing why in banjo are you sliding uh, up to a D in the key of G and um, where are all these different... Um, notes are found. Um, the reason that some of these notes are white is that the white notes are part of what's called a pentatonic scale, which just uses five of these, um, five of the notes, five of the seven notes up here. It uses um, G, A, B, and then it uses D and E. Those are the five notes of the pentatonic, which can give you some different kind of modal sounds and, and uh, some cool stuff to, to try out. So um, remember that uh, these toolboxes are set up the same for all the different keys. So if you, can, um, if you can find any key that you're interested in playing, if someone's playing something that you're not used to, you can see where in, uh, all of those notes are found and chords are found all over the fretboard. Uh, thanks for watching today, and I hope uh, hope you got something out of it. Thanks.